Russia, according to the infographics show. This video must have been sponsored by Putin. Not only do they have like all of the Caucasus Mountain nations, but as well as Turkey and Greece for some reason. And then I think almost all of Ukraine, maybe Belarus too. Maybe they're actually showing us what the future is going to look like with this one. Wait, wait, wait. They're showing us a bit more. The no, no German invasion plan for America. Somehow in this universe, they got Sweden into the axis, but lost the Oshlis. Austria looks kind of free here. So they've liberated this country possibly. Also, I'm not sure exactly what's going on in the African front. They weren't even going to worry about Africa. They were just going to go straight in for the USA. What's this arrow here? It's starting down and then up. Do they take over Australia and then launch invasion plans to the Pacific? Now, I should be the last person out here criticizing maps on thumbnails. Oh, I've had some bad ones in the past. Map of the world, but each country is labeled by what pops up in Google Images first. So for the United States of America, it's apparently a map, surprisingly. I don't even know if I believe this. I got to double check that. Now you got to open up an incognito browser if you're going to do this. Oh yeah, they're right. It is a map. I don't know why that's shocking to me. The third one is the flag. For the rest of our North American neighbors, Canada has a flag and so does Mexico. But in Panama, Cuba, Haiti, and some others, it's a picture of the country. What does that mean? Oh yeah, it really is. I guess Google just assumes everyone should know where Cuba is. Now I'm sure this will change depending on when you're watching this video. The algorithm is always changing up the order here. Pretty much the entirety of the Western Hemisphere comes down to just these three categories. Things start to get real interesting in the eastern side though. Like the countries in green have a politician or leader that is pretty much more popular than the country itself. That's actually impressive. Now there's been a lot of news about Russia lately, so I'm sure the algorithm is constantly changing this around. But just look at Kim Jong-un. You type in North Korea and it is just pictures of him. Where are the maps or even the flags? He is literally North Korea. The man has been minted into the blockchain. Interestingly, the countries in purple have protesters as their first image. Interesting that this country country is the only one with this brown label, which is literally a picture of a turkey. But then there's always Jordan, which is just a picture of a shoe. You know they got to be pissed off about this one. I literally can't with some of these. Money in a bowl on a bunch of mangoes. These African countries with just people with weapons. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. And then there's poor Togo, which is, uh, well... They've got a movie poster. Every state marked in red is where minimum wage earners can afford an entire arsenal of Lockheed Martin F-35Cs. Hmm, that's really strange. It seems like no workers making minimum wage can afford a Lockheed Martin F-35C, let alone an entire arsenal worth of them. A question asked, did you run? The white, I didn't run. The orange is, I walked. And then all this red right here, I ran. Hugh Duran Duran right now. This UN vote to make food a right. The right to adequate food is realized when every man, woman, and child alone or in a community with others has physical economic access to at all times adequate food. All of the green countries in favor. And then there's the US. Like, no. Heart emoji. Wait, it says two were against. Who is the other one? Some sort of island? I don't even see them labeled on here. There's a bunch of people that didn't even vote. Oh, wait a second. I think I know the other country that said no. Handy guide for any Russian troops that are getting lost in Ukraine. Uh, interesting. Okay, so we have Russia up here and we have not Russia. Hmm. So if there are Russian troops here, they should probably not be there. Oh, here we go. Here's an even more detailed guide to where you need to go. So again, most importantly, this is definitely not Russia. Shouldn't be there if you're a Russian soldier. You can be in this land just north of Poland. You can also be in a couple islands in the North Pole. You can be anywhere here. Anywhere here. You can be in Lake Baikal. Now, we're not exactly sure if you can be in North Korea. There is no data. You could possibly perhaps be in Greenland too. We're not sure if that is Russian or not. And if you're in Africa, best case scenario would be to go here since we we're not sure about that either. Everything else though, yeah, just keep this as a handy guide. The flag of Ukraine, except definitely don't watch the whole video. There's nothing wrong with the whole thing. What the hell is this? A fish? Wow, this person is a really big fan of Ukraine. By person, I mean fish. Well, maybe the person bought the fish because he was a Ukrainian fish. The USA flag if there were only three states. Currently, we have 50 states. That's ridiculous. All we need is solid liquid and gas. Europe, but every country is what color I think of first. Now, whoever made this, there is something I would want to say to you, then I might possibly go to jail. I am so horrified by the colors you chose. I can't believe you've done this. What really bothers me is, you know, you obviously nail some of the countries. Turkey's red. 
Greece is this blue color. And then you just mess with people by doing the same color for a lot of Yugoslavia and Switzerland and Austria. This is pretty good British Isles, I guess. But France not being blue, Spain not yellow. I get the joke here, but I'm not laughing. Who's more in the wrong here though? Like you just chose random colors and I'm like OCD like, no, you have to pick the right hue for these places. What if the flag of France was designed like? So basically the French flag in the style of other European countries. Interesting, the Romanian flag would look something like this in the style of France. The Italian flag would look like this. Belgium would look like this. Wow, even the old flag of France would look like this. Now this is incredible. Man, these people making these flag posts just blow my mind every day. A map of Europe, but the time zones and Poland has magically gone back to September of 1994. So while Portugal and the British Isles are at 12 o'clock and a lot of Europe are at one o'clock, Poland's actually gonna go back more than negative 200,000 hours, which will cause a ripple effect in the space-time continuum. Everyone else is doing fine though, two hours ahead, three hours ahead. Is that correct math? Oh man, it's been so long. I don't even know if I know how to do this equation. So 239441 divided by 24 hours in a day, like 10,000 days divided by 365, so that's 27 years. Oh yeah, I think that is right math. Holy crap. And they say Greenland is the biggest island in the world. Yeah, right. Once again, flat map projections tricking everyone out there. Geography is weird though, man. Like, why do they consider Australia a continent instead of an island? Why don't they consider all the continents to be an island? According to Britannica, an island is a mass of land that is both entirely surrounded by water, okay, check, and is also smaller than a continent. By that definition, Australia can't be an island because it's a continent. <laughs> Thank you very much. That answers all my questions. It can't be an island because it's a continent. <laughs> okay. Literally, I'm looking everywhere. I cannot find why they define it as a continent. Yo, I'm gonna start a petition to say that Greenland's a continent. If only we had more data on this place. This mobile game solved the Crimea debate. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even realize that people get really triggered by who owns Crimea. I've been showing maps for years. I just learned last week people were like really into this debate. Yeah, just remove the little island. That's probably the best way to do it. Also, this is not just some mobile game. Pretty sure this is Flycorp. Map of the countries in which a Nobel Prize winner has watched Rule 34. Tifa blender. Uh, yeah. Hmm, that's weird. Just Italy. For some reason, I feel like there'd be way more countries than just this one. I love how in the same week, I'm covering how Russia might invade Ukraine, and at the same time, this glorious moment that happened in the Italian Senate. The historic Boston shoreline. First, comparing 2022. Okay, yep, this looks basically what the shoreline of Boston is currently in this day. Versus 4,500 million years ago. Weird, it looks like there's nothing there. Oh, that's actually because it's just molten rock. Crazy how things change in such a short time period. I wonder what what LA looked like 4,500 million years ago. Map of Greenland, if it was, you know what? It's been a f year, guys. Can we stop? Map of American states and their abbreviations. Hmm, something tells me this one was possibly made by an Australian. This does not mean Washington anymore. This is Western Australia. I wanna see this map expanded upon. Just in case you didn't know, Austria is actually really, really big. Stretches all the way from Ireland to Russia and as north as Finland to Romania. You can even fit Austria inside of Austria. But how big is it compared to Australia? 100% of Sweden's population lives below this line. Here we go with the lines again. Who would have thought? Oh my god, I'm sick of these. I've seen the World War II leaders all sing this song. Now things are getting... Honestly, I'm actually impressed. It is a little ridiculous, but the fact that you got every single world leader to unanimously sing Numa Numa like this. What a glorious moment for humanity. Flag of Lithuania, but it's actually just cups stacked in my therapy group. This is probably why you're in therapy, sir. The world does not revolve around flags. Now that I think about it, I should probably check myself in. Oh, another one of these again. It's Poland, but is it actually Poland? Wait a second. Oh no, it's Big Chungus. We've reached peak comedy, boys. If this is France, then this flag must be... Oh, do I have to pronounce that? It's Snarf, because the red, white, and yeah, blue has switched. This would just be Fran... Arf. Then there's Peru, combining that with France... Wait, how did you even get that? France, combined with... Opposite France, Mirland France. Are right, we're going too many levels deep. This is giving me a headache. Hon hon, that's the French flag. Hmm, le baguette. Something, something, I don't know, surrender. Someone Googled the first flag ever made. Although several countries lay claim to having the oldest flag, the flag of Denmark is widely considered to be the oldest existing flag in the world. 
Officially, the flag is known as Danabrog. Yes, whatever. The flag of Denmark. Was this actually some sort of Albanian propaganda this entire time? I guess Albania has the fifth oldest flag, though. Supposedly. How does a dog wolf across Europe? So obviously the British dogs out there say wolf, but the Danish breeds scream Vove. Vove. I'm trying to like do it in the sound. Vove. I guess I could hear that. Sweden too, but Norway it's Vof. Vof. I guess that works too. I don't know what the hell's happening in Estonia. Ah. Is that what they sound like in Estonia? Ah. I'm I'm not sure, Germany, if uh if they can make a bell, a B sound. I'm gonna go on a limb here and say they can't. Oh, I thought they were saying something very different in Greece, especially next to this poodle. So this is how they spell wolf? This is a real map, right? I mean there this is not uh, just a poop post, right? Wait, no, I think it is. Okay, I didn't see the Ooga Booga until at the very end. <laughs> or I don't know. I mean, maybe Morocco, they do spell wolf as Ooga Booga. We thought that was more human caveman noises, though. Planets in our solar system in which I have taken a poop on. Strangely, this person has not traveled outside of Earth. You know, you really need to get out more. The galaxy has a lot to be seen, and, you know, you could learn a lot about yourself by going out there and exploring different planets. Now, we've seen a lot of redesigns of U.S. borders, and a lot of them have very good reason. This one just said, straight up for no reason at all. This is just what they redesigned the borders as. Giving half of Texas to Mexico and giving all this to Oklahoma. So you're gonna make some people really happy. Oh, wait a second. This is new Texas. Not Spanish occupied Florida returning. I agree unironically with the Carolinas uniting. Virginia should become thick Virginia. Okay. I'm sorry. Wisconsin deserves the up. Michigan people don't like it, but I just don't know why they have the up. Yes. Why not just invade Canada, Michigan? That way you can keep your little upper peninsula and we can get rid of this border go over here. Oh, I think you also accidentally invaded Indiana, but all right, Maryland's taking out New Jersey. I think there should just be a New England state. The Montana Empire has annexed Alberta. I'm actually sh sure a lot of people from Alberta would be okay with that. Well, we got a thick Alaska. Look at this new Alaska Empire. Wait, is Alaska part of the Hawaii Empire? Look, they're both the same shade of green. I'm confused. You know, even though this was made completely, um, randomly. I don't despise it. I kind of like it. the world according to CNBC. All right. The infographics show is one thing. It's just a YouTube channel. This is CNBC. Do they not realize that like OCD mappers out there exist and they're going to get destroyed with stuff like this? What the hell did you do to Indonesia? And why are the Philippines a piece of spaghetti? I am glad you included New Zealand. I don't know if that's like a single island or what. Japan is spazzing out and there is no massive lake, no Black Sea, no Caspian Sea. Why does the map itself look dirty? I I mean, it is a dirty map, but damn. I don't even know what they're trying to show here. I think this might be the most egregious of them all. What are they claiming? That we should close the Strait of Gibraltar and actually make a canal through Morocco? This Italian peninsula is looking real sussy. No Ireland islands and Denmark is connected to Sweden. I'm sorry, CNBC. This stuff just doesn't fly anymore. We'll call you out for your stuff every time. Why is Alaska so cold? Isn't it next to Mexico? Yeah, I mean, I was taught that th things along the equator are all generally going to be around the same temperature. It's hot near the equator. So how is it possible that Alaska has so much snow. Hawaii follows the rules of near the equator and Mexico. It's it's pretty hot over there, right? It just doesn't make sense. Americans carefully crafting the worst freaking flag you've ever seen. I'm assuming they're talking about our state flags. I'm not going to argue with that one. There are some that are just terrible. This apparently used to be the old main flag, which is honestly better than the current one. That is literally how low the bar has been set. You put a fucking tree and a star on it, and it's going to be better than this shit. My proposed new flag of Italy. She has got to be the the most famous Italian ever now. Passing up Benito Mussolini's levels of popularity. The flag of Cyprus, but I've replaced Cyprus with the USA. And I love that it's a USA in 144p quality. Really adds the design here. A little bit more artistic with the uh, copyright things going on too. Exercises to do at your desk. Bang your head. Step one, sit upright, slowly feeling the pointlessness of your job overwhelm you. Step two, bring your head forcefully down to your desk. Remain there until someone walks by. And if you do it hard enough, you magically transfer Transport to Bangladesh. That's why they call Bangladesh Bangladesh. You're banging your head on the desh. I feel like my editors probably do this every day. <laughs> they go to this country all the time. The USA, but if it had free health care. Literally, that's all it would take, guys. Slap that British Union Jack over in the corner and then bam, health insurance companies vanish like that. The speed of light in each country of the world. Now, in most places, it's about this speed, which is like 300 million miles per second, I believe. Now, there's a lot of countries that we don't know how gravity works. Like, Albert Einstein didn't calculate for uh, North Korea, Greenland, and this Morocco. Oh, but there is just this country, too. Don't know why that's being pointed out here, but that's being pointed out here. The most popular word in each state. Let's be real. This is probably how it would be. I've seen a lot of posts that show 
each state's most used word or most Googled word, they have to be removing the. They just have to be. Or is or a. Come on, that's got to be it. You may not like it, but this is the actual ideal map projection. See, this is the problem right here. Those flat earthers thought they were correct, but they were actually only one sixth of the way correct because they only knew about one flat side. They didn't realize we're actually on a cube earth and Africa actually looks something like this. I'd probably unironically stand and look at this thing for way too long at the modern art museum. And big thanks to I Stole Drew's Pet Dog. I Love Marks. Drew's Arab Sugar Daddy. Luxembourg Lover. King Corey. Drew's Argentinian Grandpa. Canadian Union. Dalton D. Bring Back Poland Barnsky W. Arian After Hours. A Fat Norwal. Alfonso M. Ivan Lima. Majestic Unicorn. Crompopulous Michael. Max Cooper. Mick Blorf. Mind Brothers 999. Robert Philip e. R. And Rye the Pie. 